Okay, and I think I'm recording here. Um, hello. I'm assuming this is working. Um, right, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about um, how to use Zoom um, in classes. Right now, I just want before I do that, I just want to show you that I'm going to be doing some quizzes uh, in conjunction with these classes. Okay, so for example, I have made one or two quizzes uh, for the students. Um, and if you use that, then you can actually test to make sure that students are actually following the class and understanding what's happening. You can put these put the information up as a link. Uh, the information will come through to you. Um, you'll get an Excel file which you can manipulate, look at, um, so you can check whether the students have actually um, followed the class. Right? Obviously you can't see them, uh, particularly if their video is off, uh, so they might be sleeping. Um, but you know, particularly if you put the put the video up, um, so they can you know watch it again and again, uh, then they've got no excuse. All right, so that's there. Microsoft Forms, there's Google Forms as well. Just little quizzes, just to make sure the students are engaged. Okay, so I'm going to use something like that. All right. Um, and let me just show you how I'm using the um, screen share function. Um, so you, this is all familiar. You can see this now, I hope. So you've got at the bottom here, if you move this around, you can see all this stuff coming up, straightforward. Um, there's the share screen function there. Right, I'm not recording the actual Zoom, I'm recording uh, the screen share uh, quick time. Okay, but uh, here's the screen share here, straightforward. Click on that and you get the options. To, the desktop is probably the best one. Um, whiteboard maybe, who knows, but um, probably desktop um, is gonna be the most useful in most cases. All right, let me just get rid of this. Don't need that now. Um, so that's there. And actually, what have I done? Ah, here. Okay. So um, I'm just going to show you the textbook. I've actually scanned one or two pages of the textbook. Hope this works. Should come up. Here's the first page of the textbook. With any luck, there it is. Okay, looks all right, I suppose. Let's get rid of that. Oh, get rid of that. Um, get rid of this as well. Don't want that. Okay, then. So that's there. You can size that however you want to, of course, right? and play with that a little bit. Um, so then you've got up here, right? I mean, I, I think it might appear at the, at the bottom as well, right? But anyway, in the area where you've got this ID and the this where you stop the screen share, the red bit and the green bit there, uh, if you put your cursor into that general area, you'll see these um, these functions popping up. And the one we're going to be focused on here is the comment function, the annotate function, which is kind of useful, actually. Um, so you click on that, and you get, I would go with the, um, the draw function. Text is OK. I'll play with that in a second. Uh, the draw function here, you get a squiggly line, for example. Um, so, for example, you could say, oh, iCharity takes airborne, airborne healing to the world. Ooh, airborne means air in the air, right? And then when done that, you can get rid of it, right? Um, you can also take things back there if you want to. You can get out of there whenever you want to, so you can then change your position. Um, so let's go back into that for a moment. So you go into the comment again, come into this here, and then you say, oh, everybody, everybody uh, takes for granted, right? Takes for granted that there are opticians, ophthalmic clinics uh, around them, 
right? I mean, that kind of thing you can use. I mean, it really sort of helps you to focus things. And uh, then the students can watch it again and again. It's even better. Um, so there's that. Get rid of that for a moment. Uh, there's also, the, I like, quite like the text function is quite useful. Uh, you can say, for example, this is very important or something like that. doesn't really matter. And then, um, you know, you can actually sort of move it around and that kind of thing. So you can get really focus the students. Um, if they're being, there's a quiz to test them, we can actually make sure that they are following the class. Uh, they can watch the videos again and again, particularly if we can put this up on on uh, YouTube, for example. Is there, a, is there a copyright issue really? I don't know. I'm not going to comment. Um, publishers, if they don't like it, they can ask us to take um, YouTube videos down. If they do that, they're taking a chance because we might not use their textbooks in the future. So I, I think, in, particularly in the short term, are they, they really going to complain about stuff like that? We might even ask them, right? Do they mind if we put up videos, um, at least in the short term, right? Just while while this crisis lasts. Um, so that's that. Anyway, um, you got the um, the annotate function is really useful gets the students really focused. In a way, if you're teaching to the ideal student, you can't see them sleeping, right? Uh, you can't hear them talking to each other. Um, you can control all that, actually. Um, so you're kind of teaching, teaching to the ideal student and you're getting them focused better, right? It gives you more control over things. So in many ways, it's actually better than the classroom. And I'm not saying we never want to go back to the classroom. Students learn from each other. They probably learn more from each other than they do from us. Um, so obviously, you don't want to give up on the um, the physical environment. But you know, this offers opportunities. Um, it's an interesting challenge, and um, the technology is not that difficult to use. So I think um, it's interesting. Anyway. I'm going to stop the share there, we're back into here, and um, I'm going to end that. I'm ending the Zoom meeting, and then I'll stop the screen share after that. Anyway, have a think about it.